Hello, students. So let's try to solve one more problem from quantum mechanics. And this is question number 49. And this is one of the very simple question. What is given that psi x, y, z is given that is n, maybe some normalization constant, z exponential minus x square plus y square plus z square. And if L square and LZ is going to measure on this state, what will be measurement? So L is the angular momentum operator, actually. L square is the mod of angular momentum square. So obviously, whenever you have to encounter angular momentum problem, it is much better that you have to write each and everything into a spherical polar coordinate such that you can write the your state in a basis of a spherical harmonics. And in this particular problem, the in the examination, they have given different type of spherical harmonics also. So that also give you the intuition that you have to just change it into a spherical polar coordinate. So let's change it into a spherical polar coordinate. And we all know that x is equal to r, r uh, cos, sorry, r sine theta cos phi. So y is equal to r sine theta sine phi and z is equal to r cos theta. So we all know that thing when we are going to replace it r theta and phi, we have n and that is r cos theta x square plus y square plus z square is nothing but exponential minus r square. So this is our wave function in a spherical polar coordinate. So now when we are writing it in a spherical polar coordinate, we can easily write cos theta as a function of a spherical harmonic y10. So it is also given that uh, root 3 upon 4 pi cos theta is equal to y10. So obviously, we can write this cos theta as, so this psi r theta phi can be written in a spherical harmonics so that cos theta is equal to, we can go for 4 pi upon 3 and cos theta can be go for y10 and exponential minus r square. So r square is the radial part, nothing to do for the l square and lz. So here we can identify the quantum number. So we can identify quantum number l is equal to 1 and m is equal to 0. So this is my quantum number 1 and 0. So if l is equal to 1, then the measurement of l square, the measurement of of l square is 2 h cut square because the measurement of l square is you know that l into l plus 1 h cut square you know all these things and the measurement of lz is 0 h cut because you know that measurement of h this is 0 h cut so the i think uh, there may be some option that 2 h cut square and 0 h cut that is option c is there okay and this question exactly same question i have asked earlier into net examination also if so if some student have solved their pyq of the net and gate then he can easily solve this one so so why i always request a student to solve pyq in a very deep rooted manner okay because uh, learning from the question is the best thing to qualify the exam anyway so this is the easy problem so you, you can do some better problem like that okay so uh, just practice this type of problem and such that you can solve this type of problem in exam also okay thank you if you have any suggestion you can just post me